Greetings, and welcome to this evening's stream. Tonight, as usual, I will be continuing my playthrough of Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Hopefully without having to deal with the touchscreen mechanics. Everything's beyond. But I have attempted to apply a patch to the game that is supposed to eliminate the reliance on the touchscreen, as that part was making it far more difficult to play, given I'm using a mouse, and have to drop the controller to grab the mouse and draw the pattern in a very limited amount of time. At any rate, we shall be switching over to the game once it loads, which does take a bit of time in this emulator. Let me just pull up the overall map, as I do not recall where it is going next. Where am I right now? It looks like I am in this subterranean hell right now. So I believe. If I go over and down a bit, I can get to another teleportation point. Everyone's favorite enemy here. you deal with. That's strange. It's supposed to be a down path. somewhere. I might be looking at the ink the wrong room. Where exactly am I? None of these locations seem to link up with the map. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Perhaps I am meant to go back to the wizardly, their wizardly lab. Which means I think I went to the wrong direction for the teleporter. I mean, I just missed a save point for the teleporter up above. Yeah, definitely not off track here. I need to go up. That's how you do it.
thought turning Anna off would make me, uh... Float high enough that I wouldn't get the spikes. That does not seem to be the case. So how am I meant to get over those? I may not be able to go that way. You think the floating will work? I could try it. I just doubt it. Never mind. You are correct. Okay, it doesn't... What am I supposed to do here? If I can dip down under the wall, but then I hit the spike to do that. There's no way I can get small enough to get under there. I can't throw the puppet far enough to get to the other side of the wall. At least they don't teleport you onto the spikes when you throw the puppet onto the spikes. I was a little worried that was gonna happen. So I do not know how to cross that yet. Which means I am lost as to where to go next. I'm looking for an enemy called Bone Heart. I did not know what that one looks like, though. I was not attempting to do that. 
I need to take the ability off before I get myself killed with it. Can we get back to the save room? Now nah, I'm gonna die. Bone art. they have encountered yet. I thought that would be at BC area, but apparently it is not. Oh, this would be it. I believe that is where I am. Two skeletons carrying a skeleton drag ahead on a pole? I do not recall seeing anything like that before. No, well, according to this, that is the soul that will win your cross spikes. I have no idea what it does, but as Rem told. I do not know where to encounter the soul in the first place. So I may have to give up on that. I haven't even seen one yet. This area is rather annoying. That was unexpected. I may not want to go this way.
Something tells me that is not for me right now. Where how they swim from underground. Not the right way either. Maybe they're mistaken where I am. Honestly, I do not even know what area this is. Every time I think I'm looking at the right spot, I am not. Black court in the middle section. I'm not sure. I need to find a warper first. Which I'm struggling to figure out where the nearest warp room would be. I can... I, I'm not sure if I can access that, though. I may not be able to get up there. Yes. I've been there, but I do not know if I can return there from where I am. I may be wrong about that, the area might be fine, maybe I should have gone that way. Let me just restart. So I can try the nearest one. And if I can't access that, I'll try the lower one. I'm not in a very good position for fighting that enemy. No, it's not high enough. Where is it? Oh, I know it's where I need to go. Thank you. 
I've killed it a few times, but I've not gotten a soul from it yet. I think for now I should just go to the next boss, or at least attempt to go to the next boss fight. Which I think is in the upper area. I see. Where does that put us? Alright, then they just need to go. To the east. <laughs> that ghost drop coffee. <laughs> well, I can't go that way. I might have to take a different path. I do hate these ghost dancer rooms. This way. <laughs> Might as well go here to recover my health. Now, if I can manage to go straight across this way. Okay, that's it. Fly too high for me to hit them. Any save points I'm on this way.
That is where I was locked before. This should be a new area. And I need to get to the top of it. There's a save point right below that last room. How do I get below it? Do you have to go right and down? It's an odd empty room. That looks like somewhere a cutscene or a fight should take place. Fair enough. Speaking of cutscenes. Never mind. Oh, because you can't get past this to go down? Fair enough. Airing is slightly confusing. I'm not doing with you. That is the exact tower. Well, I see it are those guys. Forgot they go down. Spraying them from below is not very good. I missed the exit and went up by accident. And he can just go off screen and not be hittable.
Those ones are good to fight from below, though, as they act upward. It's a lot coming. Where are you going? You're gonna turn around at any point? I thought he attacked him in melee while well, back was turned, but I wasn't taking any chances. Now it's 17 health. I like they used that in the boss. I can beat you normally, but I'm not gonna take the chance with slow health. You almost, uh, game overed me there. Realistically, something is going to catch me off guard. And one hit will definitely kill me at this health. Speaking of... That is something I can't get past. There is no chance I can get past it without taking a hit. I guess it was tea, not coffee. Oh, and this time it's going the other direction. Unusual. I may not need, need I may not have needed that tea after all. Never mind, I did. Where is up here? I should not have checked. That was a mistake. Hit the wrong button. I meant to hit attack and I hit jump. My mistake was leaving the area again. That was extremely harmful. If I had just spammed the shot and until he died, I might have been able to survive that one. But by leaving, I had to reset the entire room. And that's where I have a magic. The most unfortunate part of that is I pick up two souls that I may not get this time. I still think the mini devil soul. So that might just be proving my point here. But I think the other one I picked up was extremely useful.
I was too far from a safe room for that to be possible. The one I was heading toward was the only one I could reach. Backtracking would have just had me die halfway through anyway. This is chaos. The most annoying enemies are the ones that stick to you, so your attack whiffs. This feels like a worse run than like my previous one to start with. Going left to save. It's a bit out of the way, though. I would take a lot of damage just trying to get there, potentially. Against enemies that I'm not... I don't remember which enemies are there. Whereas I just did this run, so I at least... somewhat know what I'm up against. The problem is I may die trying. It's out of the way enough that I could die to enemies that I do not recall being there. him that poorly.
At least I got that soul again. I would like the mini devil as well. But considering how close that is to a save point, that's maybe farmable. Couldn't dodge that. Aiming knowing that was coming. I think I'll have that tea now. Even the homing attack, miss them. I would be very irritated if I had died to one of those things right before the save point. I didn't think I was gonna go that far. I did a lot of damage. Ugh. Interesting. I have to stay close to him to not get hit by the beam, but then if I get too close, I take damage for touching him. Not a very uh, fun boss. I don't think I saved my weapon equipping. Going against the suction just gets me hit by touching the fire. <laughs> Did not expect this. Can I attack him while he's doing this? Apparently not. I supposed to kill him before he landed? I 
I can imagine this battle would really suck if you had to do the touch screen thing while you're falling. That was even worse. I'm not saving that weapon because I'm not sure if that's really the one I want to fight this with, but I'm gonna give it a few tries. So do like the Attack speed is going to be beneficial, but the range isn't very good. I can't get in position without getting hit by accident. And this is a disaster. I do not know where to stand. Everywhere I position myself seems to be susceptible to his body touching me and then thus I take damage. I tried duck for the upper bonnie, but that does not seem to help very much. I can't slide under that. I was not- that was a new move that he never did before. Feels like I'm doing worse every single attempt. And the first couple of attempts were decent, and now everything is just not working. I haven't really figured out where I should position myself for this battle. But then that time, if I get very close, I can dodge, but then he's gonna hit me as soon as he moves. Seems inconsistent where I'm hit by getting this close to him or not. Sometimes I take damage standing there, sometimes I don't. And another issue is that if he walks forward, I don't really have a good way to move out of the way. If I just try to walk backward, and I stand up, I get hit. So I can't backdash and I can't even walk backwards because it risks putting me into the upper body hitbox. The leg hits you whenever it wants to hit you.
I'm dead now. What do I do about that? The first time he did it, I could still attack. But that time I got stuck in a animation of being hit the whole way down. So I couldn't move, I couldn't attack, I could not do anything. The game just decided, this is the end of the battle. Too bad. And he seems to do that when he gets down to a certain amount of health, so I can't kill him before he does that. I guess I was supposed to do. I did not expect that. It seemed like I was supposed to jump, I guess, before he did it, because that way I didn't take damage on the fall. But I didn't know what he was going to do after that, so I still died. I do not know if it would have helped if I attacked him on the way down, but that time that was not possible as I was above him. I'm uncertain if jumping was the right move or if I was supposed to attack him on the way down. And this game is very unclear to me. This will not be the run. I'm taking way too much damage. Destiny, excuse me. The main problem is that he's eventually going to kick me do damage. But if I were to stand up to walk out to try and move out of the way of his feet, I'm gonna get hit by the upper body anyway. So no matter what I do, I get hit. The best strategy seems to be just to crouch by his feet and attack as much as you can. But that only works so well because he will kick you across the room. And then you have to walk back into this. I guess I could slide, but then I'll probably take damage by sliding too far. I have not remotely figured this out yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
The knee can hit in certain animations. How do I avoid that? I need to be as close to his leg as possible in order to not get hit by everything else he does. That one was impossible because I was in the corner. I do not have the capacity to react to those micro movements to do anything in time, especially since I'm crouching the entire time. There's practically no way I'll be able to dodge anything from his legs. The only thing I can actually dodge are the moves from his mouth. And it's not within my ability to do it all. He really does that once, I'm not prepared for it. Even though it has a large telegraph window, that was only the second time I saw it. We may be here all night on this one. See, even if I try to backdash, I still get hit. So I have no solution to avoid his knees as he walks forward. I just have to get hit and that's it. And this is a horrible run. I've already lost this run. Another fight in this game just feels like you have to get lucky with RNG and hope that the boss does the attacks that are easy to dodge. Otherwise you are doomed to failure. I do not like the idea of whether I win or lose being up to random fate and chance. Unfortunately, muscle memory will not help in my case. 
and brain is not capable of processing the information fast enough to formulate a reaction. So even if we had it down to muscle memory what button to press when, we still wouldn't see the attack until it was too late. I disagree. Because what are you reacting to? You have to see a visual cue to know what attack is coming. If attacks are not in the same order each time, so your muscle memory will do nothing. You still have to respond to something. But we still have to see what happens in order for a reaction to be made. Do you think we have ever been able to perform a response in a game without thinking about it to you or mistaking? At least not an intelligent reaction. Not thinking about it, just pressing random buttons. But there has to be some thought in order for us to respond correctly to something. It is not something we have ever done, no matter what game we've played and how often we played it. <laughs> so, this is a foreign concept to us. It may exist, but it does not exist in this brain. I will tell you that much. There may be something that you can do and other people can do, but it's not something that we can do. For some people, for us, it is not possible. And thus the amount of time it takes is more than we have been alive for.
And most annoying part about this is there's not a good way to get in the right position. Because if I slide, I go too far. But if I try to walk forward, then I just get hit trying to walk forward. So I do not really have a right way. Yeah, this is not happening. I get hit several times just attempting to reposition myself. And then when he does that move, you can't be in his face. This just is a battle where everything you do is wrong. Every action you take gets you punished. I believe you do have to jump. If I'm in any other animation, I get stuck in the animation. I was just crouching though. And he got stuck in the crouching animation. I moved as far away as possible, and I still got hit. So I do think I need to be in the air so that I... That's the way he mans first, otherwise... I can't really escape that landing attack. There is nowhere else I could be. I was not going to be able to get behind him. I need to be above him. Thank you. 
I'm uncertain how much more I haven't had to have damaged him to win, but I don't think I could get any deeper than that. I did as much as I could in that second phase, but that's about as far as he'd go. When the shackles break, he's close. Well, that was the my capacity. I think it's about as best as I could do. That's, that is potentially an issue as well. Close this. Yeah, if you're near dead and can't save your boss fight, that would definitely be rather unfortunate. Seems like bad planning. I feel like they should have had the lower save room right next to where you land, rather than having you have to go to the right, down, and back around again, which is currently blocked off anyway. Does not seem very well planned. But I feel like a lot of things in this game were very poorly planned. Possibly, but it is several rooms away, so I don't know how much danger there is when you're one hit away from death. So it still seems like a uh, poorly planned out boss fight. Many things about that I do not agree with, but I've had many grievances with this game thus far. I wouldn't say it's one of the better games as far as how it was made in the series. Two and no enemies in two to three that we haven't seen yet. That is true. Maybe all the rooms are clear. We don't. We do not know. But either way, I am reach my limit of patience for tonight, so I will not be attempting that fight again tonight. It is a bit too frustrating. Even if you said I was close, I have no way of verifying how close and whether or not I can even get that close again, because that was. As well as I had done the entire night. I put everything into that attempt and still came up short. And I still do not know if the patch worked or not. For that we know I could have gotten him down to the health that I would still have to draw the stupid thing on the screen. We do not know. Yes, the patch for the uh, automatically drawing the touch screen for you to bypass that. I have no idea. I can test it. How can I test that? I do not recall where those were. Let me see another way, though. Yeah, I have no idea which area, though. But I just thought of one other thing to attempt. Because there is a practice mode for the drawing of the symbols. I'm curious if the patch would just make those auto draw or how that would work. So I'm gonna load the game back up just to try one of those out to see what happens.
That verifies it. I did not touch the screen at all. If I go to practice, it just does it. The code is boring what Julius Mode does. I do not know what Julius Mode does. I assume the code just automatically draws a symbol for you. Which looks like what happens because it just auto drew that. So that'd be my assumption. The Capito MS. Yeah, that's exactly what it seems to be doing. So at least we verified that that uh, headache will not be a hindrance in the future. But we still have the headache of this boss fight itself, which I am not particularly looking forward to rematching in the future. <laughs> but I do not want to keep uh, airing my grievances with this game. I would just say that I am not enjoying it as much as the previous game. But. We will save that for another time. I suppose I should see if there's anyone currently streaming that I can raid. A lot of these people I do not personally know. And be strange to raid as they would probably assume I'm someone else. I suppose we'll have to give Ellen Major a raid in that case. So for now, I will be departing.